have reached your destination. The end of the road is upon us. There's no beach. There's a beautiful view, but there's also nowhere to park and nowhere to turn round. <laughs> So we've left our wonderful parking spot where we've been for the last night up by the lighthouse and we're continuing south um, along the east coast of Spain towards uh, past Benidorm towards Alicante and uh, the weather has warmed up a little bit the sun is out the mountains are fantastic mm. it's, Spain is Beautiful. There's loads of mountains and greenery. It's lovely. Yeah, really nice. Lovely to drive around as well. The roads are good. It's Everybody quiet is... today, although it is Sunday morning. No, but I think the roads are generally quiet. So we're just driving around trying to find a supermarket that's open so we can get some more food but they all seem closed so i'm pretty sure in spain all the supermarkets are closed i found one. Oh, she's found one well it says on the internet it's open and it closes at nine o'clock oh okay and it's four minutes away let's go direction let's go judy let's go we'll try number three So we've just parked up and Marianne's just run off to try and see if she can find some bread. There's a little corner shop open. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. We're just loitering here with the vans because we've parked a little bit dodgy. Have a look. <laughs> Patrick. Who's that? <laughs> we have lunch. We have a bag of crisps. Three bars of chocolate. And two baguettes and a block of cheese. And a block of cheese. We've got it all going on. That's breakfast, lunch, and a little bit of dinner. <laughs> Good job. driving through so an area of beautiful villas overlooking the sea it's looking good but we have no idea where we're actually going so hopefully the sat i programmed the sat nav right um always a risk when you're putting in geocodes but um it should be should be okay we're supposed to be going to the beach and at the moment we're going up 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 and away and we've only got about a mile to go so there's loads of really cool villas Trudy, we're still going up and we've got three quarters of a mile to go so I, I'm not really sure how we're going to go down so quickly. We have reached your destination. The end of the road is upon us. There's no beach. There's a beautiful view, but there's also nowhere to park and nowhere to turn around. <laughs> so we might have a bit of a problem. <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> where's the beach? Crazy, crazy English, where are you going? What do you want to do with me? <laughs> I, I just want to see a beach. It's I next think, to look, the beach. Look, you can see the beach here. You can see the beach. It is next to the beach. Eh? I think is this, the, is this the place? <laughs> I 
When we want to buy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Trudy! Oh my god, what a beautiful view. Somewhere nice for lunch, but we can't sleep here. So we stopped off for a bit of lunch taking advantage of the most amazing view we had over Benidorm and we're going to try round two to see if we can go and find a parking spot for tonight by the beach. I programmed the sat nav this time. So let's go. So after all the driving around yesterday, getting lost up in the hills, having trouble turning round, and all the good fun that we had, we found this wonderful place to sleep last night. And uh, we had a good night. Uh, we, there's a bar literally just down on the beach, which uh, Patrick decided to buy us far too many beers and a nice jug of sangria. Thanks Patrick, but it was delicious. And it's absolutely beautiful. The view around us here and the sun has decided to come out this morning which is always nice because the, the last couple of days it's been a little bit wet and it is quite chilly it's still quite cold but i'm hoping it will warm up and you can see the bar down there where we had a couple of drinks and there's even loose which is always handy and today we're going to head further south uh we're going to meet up with um, a lady who's been in contact from Facebook, Sue, and um, then we're going to head towards the Pink Lakes. There's a lake down near Tarjevo, um, which is pink if you look on Google Maps. So yeah, so we're going to show you that Pink Lake and uh, we'll see if it's really as pink as they say it is. So we're in the van, Marianne's made the morning coffee coffee what bread we can make some toast i've got some marmite the brownie gave me good job yeah toast toast in the ridge monkey if you haven't and got marmite. a ridge monkey you should buy one they're very cool toast and marmite patrick have you ever tried marmite no do you want to try you're marmite? going to try marmite well, mermaid will marmite. you you'll try marmite on camera he said he'd rather have a mermaid a mermaid <laughs> yeah i'd rather have a mermaid yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've put some marmite on for patrick and he's going to try it for us. And if you he's can look not, at if you can look English. at the camera so we can see whether you like it while you're eating. This is very English. Just put it in and chew. I love it. Chris doesn't mind it. Well, it's okay. It's okay, isn't mm. it? Yeah, really? It is okay. Most yeah. people don't like Marmite if they're not English. Hey, Patrick's love. Yeah, him. he's cool. English. Is love or hate? Good job. Mm. It's always a good job. A good idea to check your water and check your oil regularly and our oil and water is perfect but our brake fluid seems really low it may have sprung a leak a leak it's supposed to be here and it's like minimum is here <laughs> i'm going to google a garage we're going to google a garage we have a mechanic, but he doesn't have any brake fluid. So we're off and the first stop is going to be to find some brake fluid to keep it topped up. So the first garage we see, we're going to stop. We've got the brake fluid. It um, seems to be known as dot four. Everybody seems to know that. I didn't know that. But apparently Same dot as my four. motorbike. Same as Chris's motorbike. So let's see what Chris is up to. So we just had a wonderful um, lunch. Actually, it was a breakfast or an brunch. All day breakfast. An all day English breakfast at Zest, where we popped to see um, Sue 
who um, is following us on Facebook. So Sue, it was lovely yeah. to meet you and Steve behind the bar. Lovely. Thank you for looking after us. Brown um, sauce and tomato ketchup. Oh, it was English a real treat. Breakfast. We haven't had an English breakfast for at well, since we left in May, I don't think. sounds a bit interesting so I looked on Google Maps and amazingly on Google Maps the water was pink so I thought you know what we're gonna have to go and check it out and we have found the pink lake which I am at now it's very windy today I was hoping to fly the drone up so you guys could have a aerial view but it's it's a fascinating color um, and apparently it's caused by bacteria um, and algae in the water that's created this amazing pink colour and they actually harvest salt here um, so I'm going to try and go down to the side of the lake so I can get some shots for you but yeah really strange colour well the water is indeed pink and uh, it's not too sunny today so it's quite hard probably to show you guys how pink it is well, what's fascinating is that because it's so windy today, it's crashing into the, uh, the side here, it's creating a foam. And it literally, the whole coastline looks like it's snow. It's like Mr. Whippy. Um, and it's everywhere. Um, it must be something to do with the algae and everything in the water that creates this when it's windy. I've never seen this before. I've never heard of Marmite. So he's Googling it. So on the Urban Dictionary, it says... What, what does it say, the definition? Uh, a girl you have sex with on the beach and never see her again. <laughs> so yeah, okay, so yeah, hold on, we're hold going on. to try this. Hold on. Can you just... How have you spelt Marmite? Oh, no, it's yeah. Marmaid. No, it's Marmite. You Shotgun, 